can you also talk about the the focus or evolution of any nice i mean we've been involved in data service automation for quite a while now kubernetes becomes ubiquitous very quickly so every every data center there is you will get some sort of um, of kubernetes um, whether this is on premise or whether this is in a public infrastructure so for us it doesn't make sense to provide a kubernetes as a service product this has already been saturated and commoditized and that happens so quickly that for us it doesn't make sense to claim that aspect um, of Kubernetes. Instead, we, we just went back to our clients and asked them, where are your biggest pain points? And one of them was managing uh, data across uh, fleets of Kubernetes clusters. But if you, if you think about that specifically, you also see that there are adjacent um, challenges. For example, the model I've just explained with Clutch does not necessarily apply to databases only. It applies to a variety of data uh, services and even beyond that, cloud services uh, in, in, you know, in a broader sense. And surrounding that, you also have problems and challenges such as how do you do dynamic security in a situation where the data service instance is located someplace else? So the Kubernetes cluster there's where the applications are could reside in a different AWS account, could be in a different OpenStack project, so to say, and how to open that network connection, but restrict it to only you know, those um, clients that are also allowed and authorized to access that service instance. It's one of the challenges which we'll solve along the way.